there's no health without the, uh, mental health, that's what we say. And so um, what um, I love to do is to be able to advocate and spread the message of what we've got to do to improve mental health, especially here in Florida. And so I'm so thankful that the Florida Chamber is taking this on as a wonderful initiative, especially with the Meadows Institute. Excellent. Well, I will say that if there's one silver lining from the pandemic, it's that it's really raised awareness of the importance of taking good care of your mental health. And the business community can be great partners in this initiative and endeavor because it's going to be a win-win situation. If employees are happy and healthy and feel safe and secure, and receiving the care that they need for any mental health challenges they may be experiencing, businesses benefit from that. You know, as a small business owner, I am really excited about this. This says we're gonna take a different approach to dealing with mental health in our state. And it takes an organization like the Florida Chamber to stand up and say, if we wanna be the healthiest, safest, sustainable state in the nation, we got to deal with this problem. And I think the big thing is to take a leadership role. When I heard the Chamber talk yesterday, it wasn't like we want to figure out how we can plug in. It was we want to figure out how we can lead. And that's what we need. We need business leaders in this whole battle for mental health and mental wellness. It's amazing. I have, you know, worked nationally in driving change both on the policy side and the operations side for over 20 years. I've never seen anything like this, and it is something that we've talked about for years as far as the role of the business community, but being able to be a part of something that's led by the Florida Chamber with their reputation and credibility at the state, I'm just thrilled as a Floridian to be um, a part of it and can't wait till we're able to start executing on the strategic plan. Mm -hmm.